Stop it. Take responsibility. Stay tuned. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on Morning Nuggets. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate, and it is my absolute pleasure when I can come and speak with you. I pray that you all had a great weekend, and I pray that this video finds you well. Stop the foolishness, y'all, and just take responsibility. Pastor Nate, who are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to anyone who doesn't own it and take responsibility. And many of you know people like that. We deal with friends like that. We deal with coworkers like that. And I hope it's not you. We live in an era where everybody wants to shift the blame. They're always backpedaling. They're always denying the truth. Always playing the victim. And always blaming everybody else. It's always somebody else's fault. Very rarely you'll find that person who will say, I did it. I said what I said. I'll add more to it before I take it back. That's a person who stands in their stuff. That's a person who owns it. And if you want to get real good in ghetto, you'll say, I said it. Who going to check me, boo? <laughs> oh, my Lord Jesus. And what prompted the situation? Y'all know the ladies that are beefing back and forth right now. It's no secret. Miss Fibabe and Miss V. Lenora. And this situation is not limited to what's going on with them. But the message is to the audience at large. Many of you are saying that the receipts were weak. That's your opinion. And to some, you're saying the receipts are very telling. These are mixed reviews. But whether they're strong enough or not, I know that two ladies were speaking behind the scenes and there was some activity going on. That's why it's called behind the scenes. And we know the other party is saying, I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything. I'm not just picking on Ms. V. Lenore. I'm just bringing this out because there is a message in this. Y'all know I take the mess and turn it into a message and serve it. That's what I'm called to do in this season. So we all know that if there was some behind the scene activity going on, you said or did something. There's a scripture that says, confess your faults to one another and you shall be healed. The quicker you can confess and stand in it, then the healing process will start. Yeah, it hurts right now. Sometimes confessing and standing in your stuff will probably make you look like an idiot. It'll probably make you look like a fool, but you'll probably look more of a fool when you lie about it, don't stand in, and somebody else has to point it out to you or present some kind of proof. I'm gonna go ahead and beat you to the punch. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know I did this. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. Now let's move on. But we will continue to go on and on and on if people continue to say, I didn't do anything. So now you got the other part that's constantly pulled receipts proving that you did say and do what you're denying. Friend, if you like what you heard, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this exhortation. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces.